Pokemon Go is officially the biggest mobile game of all time. At this point, you're either playing it or you're sick of hearing about it. If you're in that first camp, keep watching. We've got some tips to help you become a Pokemon master in no time. Tip number one, tracking. Let's start first with hunting stuff down and catching it. Don't just walk aimlessly. When you tap on the bottom right, you're going to pull up a nearby drawer. The footprints beneath each Pokemon are a rough indication of how far away they are. This drawer is sorted by distance and it's going to update as you walk around. Tip number two, improving your odds. When you're catching a Pokemon, look at the colored circle that appears when you're throwing. Green means easy, red means hard. So see how that circle is, is just shrinking over and over? The smaller it is, the better your odds are of making a catch, but you only get that odds bonus if the ball lands inside the colored circle. Tip number three, be better at battling. When you're entering a gym battle, swipe from right to left to see what you're up against. Then pick your Pokemon based on what you're about to fight. The game will automatically offer up what it thinks might work, but it's often wrong. Click the suggested Pokemon to swap them out, and then order them based on what you're about to fight. If you're about to fight a fire Pokemon, throw your strongest water Pokemon at it, and learn the weaknesses and strengths. Speaking of gym battles, watch for yellow flashes around the edge of the screen during a battle. Whenever these occur, your opponent is about to deal damage, and this is when you want to swipe to dodge. Practice this on the weakest gym you can find just to get the timing down. Tip number four, catching the good stuff. Ultimately, you want a bunch of Pokemon of varying types with high CP, or combat power. The higher your own level, the more high-powered Pokemon you're going to encounter. Even if you and your friend click the same Pokemon, each of you are going to see different CP on that Pokemon. You'll still find plenty of weak ones even at higher levels, but the potential cap is going to get better as you do. Tip number five, power leveling. Want to level faster? Use those lucky eggs you pick up in the most efficient way by batching your evolutions. You already get 500 XP every time you evolve a Pokemon, even if you've evolved that Pokemon before, and a lucky egg doubles this. You get even more if it's a new addition to your Pokedex. Pidgeys and Weedles are the easiest to evolve, so don't pass them up even if you see them everywhere. Gather a ton of them, fire off a lucky egg, evolve them all rapid fire, and drown in that sweet, sweet XP. Tip number six, hatches matter. You'll collect hatchable eggs at Pokestops. Make sure to always have one or more in an incubator. As you walk, they're gonna get closer to hatching. Use your one infinite incubator to hatch the two kilometer eggs since you're inherently gonna hatch way more of those. You might want to wait to hatch 10 kilometer eggs until you're at least level 18, maybe 19. The 10 kilometer eggs have the potential to hatch rare Pokemon and you want your rare stuff to start out strong so you don't have to waste candy and time powering them up. Tip number seven, reset the game. That might sound weird, but this game has a ton of bugs. Even if it hasn't crashed recently, you want to restart the game every once in a while. Pokemon can get stuck on that nearby radar when they're not actually there anymore, so if you've been chasing one for ages and you're not getting any closer, just try rebooting. Tip number eight, you can turn the augmented reality off. Once you're over the whole AR thing, just turn AR mode off. It's not quite as neat, but it makes it easier to aim. Tip number nine, closing Pokestops grabs you all of the items instantly. You don't have to tap on each one. Tip number 10, play in wildly different places, different cities even. Stuff that's rare in Oakland might be super common in San Francisco and vice versa. And as a bonus tip, if you're getting really intense about all this, research how to use Niantic's other game, Ingress, to plan ahead before you leave the house. Done properly, you can use Ingress to find Pokestops that are close together and where spawns might occur. And that's it. Happy hunting.